So today I'm going to show you how to use, in my opinion, an extremely underutilized aspect of CRM, announcements. Over the time I've spent with 2011, I've struggled to find a way to incorporate them into my clients' installations or instances of CRM. Because essentially, you can require everyone to see announcements as the first thing they see when they log in, or you can give people a place where they were going to go anyway and place more useful information there. I'm of course talking about dashboards. Incorporating announcements here is a natural place for people to go to get an overview of their day, so it becomes a handy place to put out system-wide announcements as well. Step one is to open a text file or some other notepad-esque editor. I will place the correct text on the screen for a short while so you can pause the video and copy it correctly. I will also make the file available if you email me at bgarity at socius1.com. Add the text as shown to the file and save it as announcements on dashboard.html or something similar. Step two is to go add this as a web resource. Go to settings, customization, and customize the system if you're working in the default solution or into your custom solution if you're using one. If you don't know what that means, just go to the default solution or consult your system administrator prior to doing this. With your solution open, select Web Resources. Add a new web resource as a type of web page or HTML, call it Announcements, and make sure you browse out to the web file we just created in step one to upload it. Once you've done this, save it and close the web resource. If you have any announcements in the system at this point, you can use the preview button to make sure they appear and that the web resource you just created is working. Remember to publish this resource now, otherwise when we add it to the dashboard of the next step, it won't show up. Step three is to add this to the dashboard. If you intend to add this announcement section to a system dashboard, which I highly recommend you do by the way, stay in the open solution we used in step two. Go to the Dashboards component in the solution and pick the dashboard you're going to alter. Dashboard open, now click on the Web Resource button in the ribbon. This will allow you to point at the web resource we just created in Step 2. Use the lookup to find that file. Then, give the dashboard element a name and a label. When you click Save and Close, you can size the web resource however you like as it may make sense on your dashboard. Save and close your dashboard and remember to publish it. Step 4. Go check your dashboard to see if this element has appeared as it should. If it has, it's time to add your announcements. If it hasn't, now is a good time to ensure that you've followed each of my steps and that your code is correct. In order for you to add an announcement, go to Settings, Administration, Announcements. From here, you can add announcements and even set expiration dates so that they automatically disappear. If you want to add this section to other dashboards in your system, just start from step 3 and repeat on each dashboard. Let me know if you have any questions, and I'll do my best to answer them. Good luck!